Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about the computer keyboard shortcuts you, you, you can use for Windows so that's easier for you to do things. Now the first one, Ctrl plus H in web browsers. So maybe if I go to Chrome, Pressing Ctrl plus H goes you to, to history. You can see all your history here. Okay. Next one. Windows key plus comma. What it does is it is you click at the desktop. You can see all your desktop things here. But once you let go of the shortcut, it goes back. Windows logo key plus 3. It opens the Windows game bar. You, you can choose if you want audio, capture, gallery, or looking for good. And you also can capture your screen. And you can choose if you want to open your microphone or not open your microphone. Windows logo key plus left or right arrow key. This makes the window that you are using smaller and gives you a choice to open other windows or apps that are open. Okay. Next, Windows logo key plus numbers. One, two, three, four, or, or the rest. It's depending on what number you press on the taskbar. So, now from over here, Chrome is my second. So, if I put Windows logo key in number two, it goes to Chrome. And if I want to go back, My PowerPoint is my number 8, so I can press Windows key plus 8. Next, Windows logo key plus Control plus Escape. Or Control plus Escape, it opens your start menu. Basically, something like this. Control plus escape also does it for you. Cow shift plus delete in all kinds of browsers. It clears your browsing data from your from your browser. So again, if I go to Chrome, and then I press Control Shift plus delete. It, sh it should go to clearing your browsing data. FM plus escape. For me, for my computer, FM, FM plus escape makes everything opposite. Well, if you don't have the FM button, it's fine. Windows logo key plus R. Opens run. You can run, you can search for ads and documents, and it automatically opens it for you. So if I open Windows Key plus R, it opens run, and you can choose which app to open. Okay. Next. Alt plus Z. It allows you to switch to which app you want to use. So it's pretty useful. You can scroll down and when you let it go, it'll go to where you want to. 
Windows logo key that F. It takes a screenshot of the screen and it opens Feedback Hub. So if I open, if I use Windows Key.f, it takes a screenshot and opens it. Next, F11 in browsers. Only some web pages have this. It's like full screen. You don't need to press the F11 button again if you want to exit. Exit the full screen. Pressing escape will not help in a way. So if I go to something like my Gmail, I can press F11 to make it big. Then you press F11 back to upgrade the full screen. When you also go key plus D, it minimizes all apps that open and brings you to your desktop page. So if I use Windows Key Plus D, it comes to your desktop page. Windows Key Plus A, it leads you to your, to your notification center. Okay, Windows Key Plus A, it opens the noti notifications. And then you can also on what options you want. Windows key plus P, it opens project so that you can connect to a display. Um, you can choose duplicate, extend, or second screen only. Next, Windows key plus P, it, change, it changes your language. You can choose which language you want. Depends on what package you have. Next, Control Shift as Escape. It opens your Task Manager. So if something is going wrong and affecting your whole computer, you can quickly end the task to stop it. Next, Shift as Escape in in your browser. It also opens Task Manager in a way, but just that is in Chrome or your web browser. So if you open Chrome, opens Task Manager, Shift plus Escape. You can also end the process if it's making if it's making Chrome slow or your web browser store, you can end the process. Basically the same thing as your computer. Task Manager. Windows key plus L, lock your computer. So that if someone else is using the computer, if, if it's trying to see your sensitive information, you can quickly lock it. Windows logo key plus Q, it opens the search bar. Well, Windows key plus S also does that for you. Windows key plus M minimizes all apps and bring you, brings you to your desktop page. So if I do Windows key plus M, It brings you to your desktop. If you do control, alternate, and delete, it gives you some options. You can lock, you can switch user, you can sign up, you can restart. It's a bit messy here, yeah, so let's see if I can do it. Control L, oh, let's see. You can lock, switch user, sign out, change the password. Task, you can open Task Manager also. You can also change your language. You can change your internet connection. You can on ease of access. And you can put your computer to sleep. 
shut down or if you want you can reset the computer as well windows p plus pin screen it takes a screenshot of your computer so we do windows p plus pin screen it takes a screenshot and it will be in your capture folder from the wall. Windows key plus shift plus S, it opens snip and sketch. And it lets you choose which part of the screen you want to take a screenshot of. You can take a picture of part of the screen. You can also do a freeform snip. This you can also take a screenshot of your screen freely. You can also window snip. That means you take a screenshot of your window. And you can also take a full screen snip. And once you snip it, you can paste it anywhere. You can also edit it. So let me show you how to edit. So I took a screenshot of this part. You click on the picture and it opens it for you. You can also edit it. You can save the picture or you can copy the picture as well. Windows key plus E it opens your file explorer. So Windows key plus E opens file explorer and you can easily get your files and folders here. Windows key plus left arrow or right arrow key it splits your screen into two to see both of your apps. Well, I'm not sure if this works. Windows key plus my, the minus key or the plus key, it opens magnifier and you can zoom in and zoom out as well. If, it, if the words are too small, you can increase your size of the word. I'm only choosing a part of the screen for my on my cursor. There's only one part is big. So you can also choose to have the full screen big as well. Windows key plus I it opens the window settings. So over here you can see all your settings and if you want to change it you can as well pressing the f1 button in anywhere is to get help that means if you have issues you press the f1 and then they they will they will maybe give you help but right now it's for my powerpoint slides how Control shift plus T in browsers, it opens the tab that you closed earlier. So control shift plus T. It opens the tab that you closed earlier, which was my Gmail. Windows P plus control plus left or right arrow key, you can switch your desktops. What do I mean here? You can switch desktops to hide the to switch desktops. If you want to change, if you want to add a desktop or change it back, 
you you'll see it later. It's a, there's another keyboard shortcut for it. Windows logo key plus D. It opens clipboard. Your clipboard. Your clipboard will only be empty itself when your computer is shut down. And if you don't want to see this, you can also clear all of them. So when you copy something, it will be in your clipboard. Next, Windows key plus tab brings you to your task view. This is the one that I'm talking about to add or remove desktops. You can add a new desktop. You can also remove. And you can also see what things you use you opened earlier and in different dates as well. So you can also see what's open. Windows key plus the dot, it opens emoji. You can, when you type, you keep tapping to find one. You'll find an emoji. But right now I'm not typing anything. So of course, no emoji will come out for me. But all, all these are all the main ones. You can also see your reason. You can also choose some people as an emoji. This basically, 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 you can go and check it out. Pressing the F5 button in, in browsers, any web browser is to refresh the web page. So, if I go to Snakes.io, for example, to refresh the web page, I press F5 to refresh it. Out plus F4 in applications or yeah, in applications is to close the app. So if I go to microphone for example, to close the app, I'll press out out plus F4 to close it. This one is on your desktop. L plus F4 on your desktop. So if you go to your desktop, you press out L plus F4. You get you get the choose what will like the computer to do. You can choose it to shut down. You can also choose it to switch user, sign up, sleep, shut down, restart, and then Press OK to perform the action. This is where I stopped it. Windows logo key plus K. You can connect to a Bluetooth or a wireless display. Windows key plus W. It gives you a choice if you want to take a full screen snip or open Microsoft Whiteboard. But for Microsoft Whiteboard, if you want, you need, if it's not installed on your computer, you'll need to download it if you want to use it.
Control plus P is to print. In you can print if you press Control plus P. For example, if I do Control plus P over here, it brings me to the print section. Or if I go to Google Chrome again, I press Control plus P. It also brings it. It also come up pop up for printing. Windows key plus the letter U to open your display settings. It, it opens settings and and goes to the display. You can choose whatever you want to increase or and increase the brightness. You can also change the, notific noti the notification and you can also change others as well. Control out plus the up, down, right, left arrow is to rotate the screen of your computer. So if I use control alternate and the right arrow it turns the screen and then if i do control alternate and the up button it makes my screen back to normal well that's all the video will be constantly updating so so maybe you can keep a look up for it because I'm still adding more more computer sh co computer shortcuts. Okay, thanks for watching.